hello how are you today welcome to my tutorial for today thank you for being here thank you for loving me you guys are so so amazing thank you for helping me to remain here on youtube okay quickly we're going to be making a fitted dress with a puff and fitted sleeve at the same time i have here this is two yards and then this is not up to one yard anyway i'm going to be combining them to make this tutorial all right thank you for subscribing once again and if you are new please hit on that red icon and also tap on the notification bell i need it very very importantly okay so that whenever i upload you get notified about it and please don't stop watching my videos i hope you have shown kindness to someone today if not please pause look around you someone needs to receive that kindness from you be the reason someone will smile today and in fact throughout this week okay let's go to the cutting table So I'm cutting for the lower part. I'm cutting both the front and the back at the same time. That is from here down. Okay, you can call it the skirt area. All right. So I'll be folding first. I folded the first one. I will fold again with a zipper allowance of one and a half inches. This way. Please indulge me on my little table. I'm working so very hard to get a bigger apartment so that I'll be using a larger table. I'm trusting that when the Lord gives me money for that, we'll have a bigger table and everybody will enjoy conveniently. Okay. So the length of the skirt is 25 inches. I'll be measuring 20 six and a half inches half for the joining and then one inch for the fold at the lower side i hope you understand that so this is now our waistline and this is our hip line i'll make it into a straight line Okay. This is a half inch for the food, please. Twenty-five. And this is the length of our skirt. The remaining is for the food. Okay. So this remaining is for the food. I hope you can see that. All right, next will be to place the waist and the hip measurement. Waist 40 plus two and a half inches. That is included in this two and a half inches. Hip is 45. I added two inches here. So I'll take the hip measurement down to the hemline. We are supposed to have gotten used to this by now. At this lower part, I'll just take one and a half inches because I don't want it to be too fitted. One and a half inches. Okay. So I'll connect waist to hip. And hip to the hem line. I don't know. I'm still thanking you. I'm still grateful for this call because I'm really appreciating it. I'm really enjoying it. All right, so this is for the lower part. 
Remember we talked about here in one of my tutorials, it doesn't have to follow this line like this. It doesn't have to be this way. Okay? I hope you can see it. It doesn't have to go like this. Okay? Assuming I follow this line, it's going to be this way. I'll cut this one off. So when I want to now line on food, this place will now shorten. That's why I brought it out a little bit. I think I used half an inch. I just brought it out a little bit okay so now we go over to the upper part for this i'm going to cut the lining and line it accordingly you just need to notch the exact measurement okay so for the upper part i'm going to be making it an off shoulder Okay, so I removed seven inches from my half length. I have here ten and a half inches. This is for the back. Okay. I'm using a zipper allowance of one and a half inches. Okay. My bust is 45 into 4 is 11.5, 11 11.25, so that's 11 and quarter. Waist is 40, that is 10, and then allowance of 3 inches, that is included here, and then at the bust allowance of two inches for the neck with first this is my shoulder 17 but since this is an off shoulder i will move in by one inch i'm doing this so that everybody will follow okay this is my shoulder, assuming it is a with shoulder. But this, since it's an off shoulder, I'm removing this one inch. Okay, so now my shoulder will now have to be seven point five instead of eight point five. Okay, for my armhole, I'll use two and a half inches. This is subject to adjustment. Yeah. And then my neck depth two inches also subject to adjustment. Okay, so I'm cutting like this. I'll remove here, here, and here. And the back is cut. We go over quickly to the front. So for the front, you see I have a line here, I'll be joining it. It's open, I'll be joining it. I'll be using here as the center front. So my measurement will start from the line, okay? For the back, I removed seven inches, I'll do so at the front, okay? So this is 11 inches. All right. First, I will place my bust to bust and my sewing allowance four and quarter. Mine is four, sewing allowance is quarter of an inch. That's why I measured four and quarter. So we have it here. Next, I will measure my shoulder to maple. Okay. I removed seven inches. 
so you can place it this way this is my seven inches off now my shoulder to nipple is 12 plus half an inch that will be taken here okay i hope you see that under bust is three and a half inches i hope you get this part okay so next will be to measure half an inch up half an inch down that is from this point but if you have a good curve the essence of this half half an inch is so that you don't have a sharp edge here because you know if you if you use this it will give you exactly what you want okay but to still be on a safer side you measure half inch here half inch up okay that is just so the curve will rest on it and give you a good curve i hope you get that that's just the essence of this half an inch okay now at the upper part i will take one inch towards this side one and a half inches towards the armhole side okay and then at the lower part i'll take half half here i usually don't do this always half half here and then at the waistline one one and a half sometimes i just end up taking one one here it still gives me what i want so i will connect this one now to my half inch here connect this to half inch and then to this place i hope you get that you can use your curve or you can use your free hand okay Okay. I will now take my bust and my waist measurement. Bust is 45. I'll be placing it here at the shoulder to nipple. 45. That is 11.25. Sewing allowance of 2 inches. Waist is. 40 that is 10 I will include this one and a half inches here sorry two and a half I took one here one and a half here so two and a half and then I'll put my sewing allowance I hope you get that sorry Next will be to now place my chest line measurement. For the back, I think it was seven, including these two and a half inches here. Okay. Arm hole was two and a half inches, and I said it was subject to change. Even this chest line. Okay. So we now cut. So when I when I sew and I don't like this ample, I can deepen it, please.
Okay, so I'll go to the machine now. First of all, join here. If I now cut the wooden and the lining appropriately. Now I've done the lining for the lower part. This is it. And for the upper part, I joined these two together. This is the front, okay? And this is the lining as well. And then for the neckline, I gave a very deep V neckline because I'm going to be using this lace fabric to cover it like so. Okay. I'll still use it to cover it. That's why I used a very deep sweetheart neck as you can see. Okay. Now the shape of the lace fabric is like this. Because this is where I want to make use of. I hope you see it. Okay. I just joined, brought my, the end of my lace. That's the place that has the scalloping. I brought it together. This way. Okay. And then I cut it. I closed up one end. That's what you have here this way. All right. So it's going to be like this. Okay, I hope you see it. So this my lace fabric now gave me my actual half length. Okay, if I'm to measure from here to this point, it is my actual half length okay without any fold or seam allowance i hope you get that so it's going to have just a very tiny hold here it's still an off shoulder i hope you get that okay and then remember this is our armhole you still remember it this is the other side okay so i'm now going to give this place a c cut okay i'm going to give it a c cut because the only point i need is this this point here okay so the c cut is coming this way Okay, so it's coming this way. I hope you get that. This is still an uh, armhole. Okay, I'll still end up removing here so that we have only this. I hope it's clear enough. So I'm cutting this point off. I hope you now get it. Okay? So you have it this way. So I'll go to the machine first. Attach this lace fabric this way where I pinned it. I'll sew on top of it before I now line this one. Okay? I'll just sew along this side. Sorry, please, for the noise. I'll sew along this line. And then do a normal lining. So this is the front. I've attached it and also done the lining. I hope you see it. Okay. Now for the back also, I'll be using this. Basically, you should cut what will be enough as your normal half length. I hope you get that. That is something that when you place it this way, it will still give you your half length. Okay? I hope you see it. It will still give you your half length. Okay? So I'll go to machine as well and attach 
this part also. This one, I already lined them. I even put my dart. Okay, so I'll attach this way. Now I've attached it, I also joined the lower part. Next will be to give it a neckline. Remember the first you gave a C cut. It is going to be a C cut as well, but not as deep as that of the front. We'll just take about two inches. Okay. So the next thing I will do will be to close the back area. I'm going to be putting slits. Okay. Slit of about nine inches. That is here. And then for my zip is going to be about seven inches below the waistline. So I'm closing between this line and this point. Okay. I'll go to the machine, close it, attach my zip. Then join them at the two shoulders. Okay, I will join the front and the back at the shoulder. So here it is. I've joined them at the two shoulders. Like I said, it's going to be very, very thin at the shoulder here. Okay, very, very thin. I hope you see the thickness is less than one inch. So I'll now close at the two sides and we come to the sleeve. Okay, so I've done the joining at the two sides and we're almost done. What is left is just the sleeve. And this is the lower part of the sleeve. This is the puffy part. Okay. So this is 12 inches. That is from here to my desired length, 12 inches. And this will cover from here to this point. Okay. Now my round sleeve here is 12 inches. What you see is I added one and a half inches for allowance. And then at the lower part here is nine inches. Okay. I'm going to be adding one and a half inches as well. So I'm cutting this one off. That's for the lower part for this place. Okay. Now the upper part that is the puffy part. It's already on fold as you can see. Sorry. This is already on fold. And it's 17 inches. Yours can be wider than this. This is not standard. Okay. All I will do will be to measure my armhole on my dress here. That's just it. I'll just have to measure this armhole here okay so this is what i mean i will leave one inch sewing allowance so this is what i mean so this is what i mean this is my armhole on the dress Okay, this lower part, not this upper part, this lower part. This is one inch I left for sewing around. So I'll cut this. And that is just all. I'll do the same thing on the other side.
Okay. Next will be to I'm going to be using a plate for it, both at this upper part and at this lower part. Okay. So I'll go to the machine now and plate here first. This lower part. I'm going to be pleating it against here. Against this place. You know, this is my wrist area. That is the side that has this color thing is my wrist area. Okay. So I'm pleating here against here. I hope you get that. So all of this will now be contained here. Okay. For the upper part, it is when I'm attaching it here that I will now do the remaining pleats at the upper part, apart from this armhole area. I hope I didn't confuse you. Now this is what we have. I will now finally attach the sleeve to this armhole. For this place is going to be straight. Then from here, I will start to pleat. I hope you get that. The armhole should be straight. Okay. But from this point, I will start to pleat. Okay, so I've attached the sleeve and our dress is so ready. This is the back. Okay, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Please keep subscribing if you are new before leaving. And most importantly, make somebody to smile today. Okay? If you have done that, there is no harm in doing more. Till we meet in my next tutorial, I love you from the bottom of my heart. And take care of yourself. Bye!